Hi everyone, in the video, la basis pati pakla. According to Arrhenius theory, basis abdinger de nana or substance sa on the base. Either nama water la dissolve panamo de nahuna and the base when the iron is a home. Other than base cup, for example, NaOH. In the NaOH, nama when the water la put to dissolve panamo de nahuna, Na plus a home, OH minus ion sa home and the dissociate a home. That means iron is a he, other hydroxyl ions are form a good layer, OH minus ions are when the form a good. Apoidida when the base. So base when the water la put to dissolve panamo de namaka. OH minus ions, hydroxyl ions, one the catacha abdina, other one the base. Base one the water la complete soluble arch abdina, then we call that base as a alkali. In the base one the acid order react ahi, it will give a salt and water. Still, metal oxide one the it will give a salt and water on reaction with acid. Metal oxide, for example, zinc oxide. So, this is the acid react with two molecules of hydrochloric acid. This is the react with two molecules of Cl. So, you will get as is it an Cl2. Zinc chloride, then the water is H2O. So, we will get a salt, zinc chloride, and water H2O. Similarly, Sodium hydroxide when the water ion is ahi, it will give a hydroxyl ion. In the sodium hydroxide pathing na water ion is ahi, namaki Na plus OH minus abdin split tire, dissociate tire. And this get dissolved in water. This is water la dissolve nala, so it is an alkali. Basis la pato abdina, one or more replaceable oxide ilana hydroxyl ions irukku in solution. Ipana moris la basis pakla, other molecular formula in there, other ionis epidi ions on the form ahadu, other kudiya replaceable hydroxyl ion on the ethana number abdin pakla. First one calcium oxide, this is molecular formula on the CAO. This is the we will get a Ca2 plus and O2 minus. Apo, in the calcium oxide, the number of replaceable hydroxyl ion vandu, hydroxyl so yadha, oxide ion vandu, o. O -O irukku, so one Next is sodium oxide. This is molecular formula vandu, Na2O. This is the we will get a Na plus and O2 minus. And if you have replaceable oxide ion, one is one. This so one. Next one, potassium hydroxide. This is the molecular formula KOH. This is the ion, we will get K plus and OH minus. One is plus and one is minus. And if you have replaceable hydrogen ion, OH is one. So that is one. Oxide is one, OH is hydroxide. Next one, calcium hydroxide. This is the molecular formula CaOH twice. This is the form of the ions Ca2 plus and OH minus. And this is the replaceable hydroxyl ion. OH twice. Then, hydroxyl ion is So, 2. And aluminum hydroxide. This is the molecular formula AlOH thrice. This is the form of the ions Al3 plus and OH minus. And this is a replaceable hydroxyl ion. So, OH3 thrice in the cup, and hydroxyl ion. Okay, wa? next do we know? All alkali are bases, but all bases are not alkali. Alkali is the same. Bases are water la complete soluble air. That is alkali. All alkali is a base. That is alkali base which is completely soluble in water. And all bases are alkali. It is completely soluble in water. That is why we will say that 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 we will For example, NaOH, KOH, this is alkali. And ALOH thrice and is it an OH thrice? This is the base. Next, classification of bases. Bases are three types of classified. Based on the acidity, based on concentration, and based on ionization. Now, first, based on the acidity. Based on the acidity, if you are going to classify the acidity, that is the base of the bases. If you are going to classify the classification, based on the basicity. So, you are confused. 
So based on the acidity padi, base vandhu innu 3 types of vandhu subdivide a irukku. Monoacidic base, diacidic base and triacidic base. Monoacidic base abdi na, and the base a nama water la vandhu ionize pannu moodhu, it will give a per molecule ikku ore ore hydroxide ion mattu kuduthirchu. Only one abdi na, adhu vandhu monoacidic base. Mono abdi na one lana arutthu. For example, NaOH, KOH, that means Sodium Hydroxide, Potassium Hydroxide. This is one hydroxide ion that is used per molecule when they ionize in water. Second one, Diacetic Base. In this base, when we water ionize it, it will give a 2 hydroxide ion per molecule. Per molecule, we use 2 hydroxide ion. For example, Calcium Hydroxide, Magnesium Hydroxide. This is the case OH twice in இருக்கு அப்போ இது நம்ம வந்து வாட்டர்ல போட்டு அயனைஸ் பண்ணும்போது நமக்கு per molecule க்கு ரெண்டு ஹைட்ராக்சைடு அயானை வந்து கொடுக்கிறதுனால we call this as diacetic base di அப்படினா 2 அப்படினா அர்த்தம் next third one triacetic base இந்த பேஸ் நம்ம வாட்டர்ல போட்டு அயனைஸ் பண்ணும்போது it will give a 3 hydroxide ions per molecule for example aluminum hydroxide and iron 3 hydroxide now, if we put water in water, we will have 3 hydroxide ion. So, we will put it in 3, so we call this as a triacidic base. Tri is 3. So, if we put the hydroxide ion in water, it has a name. Next, do you know, the term acidity is used for base. If we put it in water, it will be used for base. If we put it in water, it will be the number of replaceable hydrogel groups which is present in one molecule of a base. If there is a base, like NaOH, how many hydroxyl groups can be replaced? That means the term acidity is the term acidity. This is how we use the term acidity. This is how we use the term acidity. Okay, wow. Next, second classification of base is based on concentration. This is two. First one concentrated alkali, second one dilute alkali. So, concentrated alkali is what we call an aqua solution. In that aqua solution, alkali is relatively high percent. That is, water is 10% in the aqua solution. The remaining 90% is alkali. High percentage is alkali. That is concentrated alkali. If it is dilute alkali, it is in the aqua solution. And the alkali is the percentage of the alkali. It is very low. If the aqua solution is 80% in the aqua solution, the remaining 20% is alkali or percent is alkali, that is dilute alkali. The third classification is based on ionization. So first one is strong base. Strong base is what we call in the base of aqua solution, that is completely ionized. If it is completely ionized, that is strong base. For example, NaOH, KOH. Ionize is what we call in the base. பிரியும் Na plus and OH minus அப்படியின்டு dissociateாகும் இது வந்து K plus and OH minus இன்று dissociateாகும் இந்த மாறி complete ionis பண்டுக்கு பேருதான் வந்து strong base weak base அப்படிங்கரது இந்த base வந்து partialாதான் வந்து ionis ஆகுது aqua solutionல for example ammonium hydroxide NH4OH and calcium hydroxide CaOH twice the third classification வந்து based on ionization so first one வந்து strong base Strong base அப்படிங்கது என்னா, இந்த base நாம் aqua solutionல போடமோது, அது complete ionize ஆகும். அப்படி complete ionize ஆனாதா, அது வந்து strong base. For example, NaOH, KOH. Ionize ஆகருக்கு நான் என்ன, இது வந்து பிரியும். Na plus and OH minus அப்படிங்கு dissociate ஆகும். இது வந்து K plus and OH minus இன்று dissociate ஆகும். இந்த மாறி complete ionize பண்டுக்கு பேருதா, வந்து strong base. Weak base அப்படிங்கரது, இந்த base வந்து partialாதா வந்து INAs ஆகுது aqua solutionல. For example, ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH and calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice. Okay, இந்த விடியோல நம்ம base நான் என்ன and classification of baseல அல்லுக்கு குடிய type side நன்னா அப்படின் பாத்திருக்கும். I hope இனிக்கு பாத்தால் விடியோ இந்த உங்களுக்கு ரும்ப useful அருக்கும் நனைக்கிறேன். If you have any doubt regarding this, please do comment, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, thumbs up, share among your friend circle. இந்த விடி நரைப் பேருக்கு useful அருக்குட்டு நீங்கள் இந்த சானலுக்கு புதுசு, சாயின்சைப் பத்தி ஏசியா தமில் அண்டர்ஸ்டன் பண்ணி லான் புண்ணன் அண்ணச்சிங்கனா, இந்த சானல் உங்கள் குறப்பு யுச்புல்லா இருக்கு, நான் இந்த சானல்ல physics, biology, chemistry, எல்லா concept கவறாகரமாரி, standard 6th and standard 8th வருக்கும் எல்லா இன்னுட்டு கம்பிட்ட பண்ணிட்டு, இந்த year நான் standard 9 வருக்கு
Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell button to get the latest upcoming videos. See you soon. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.